Oh, hey, it's Rob, and I'm in the car. Um, <clears throat> I'm heading back to the cities, and we stopped at the first uh, rest stop, which isn't really a rest stop. It's a little place to pull off. It's I think it's an access for power line, um, but it's a good stopping point, and uh, it's one that the dogs have come to expect and I've come to expect. So... Um, this is the first stop, and then the next one we'll hit is Motley. So, I don't know why I'm recording this, but I'll just give it a shot, okay? Uh, just leaving the Motley Dog Park. Actually, I'm not leaving quite yet. I'm going to do well stop and pee quickly. Uh, not entirely sure where I'm going to park at the trailer. That's pain in the butt. So maybe I'll do this. That will work. Awesome. <sighs> Made it home in one piece. That is a long drive. The dogs want to get out and get in the yard. <laughs> oh, joy. Okay, guys. Um, it's Rob. I am uh, just got down in the cities. Uh, I am down in the cities this week, and I do not have any of my editing equipment with me. So I am not going to be able to edit a video to get out for Saturday, so I'm going to do one this way. Just taking the dogs out around the neighborhood. This is the first walk that we've been on since we got back. Piper is, of course, eager to take my arm. We have to sniff all of the things because we haven't sniffed things for a while. There were bunnies here. It is really a pretty neighborhood. Sidewalk socks. I love these trees. We see you. Yeah, we see you. Hi. You're protecting your house well. Mm -hmm. They always did such nice things with this yard. No, Piper, out the yard. Come on. Come on. Anchor dog. We must sniff all the things. I guess we're a little late for those. A lot of the lawns here are going to a different kind of ground cover rather than grass. There we got some that are in, that are in time. Little uh, multi uh, multi condo here. You know, there's gardens. This is actually a pollinator garden. Nice roast. We've been working on this for quite a while. Hey, Dave. And when this is Dave's, and does it really? He's a landscape guy. He's the one that got me these two beautiful cedars. Oh, these are so nice. He's created a rain garden over here, which is beautiful. Um, alas, my pepper garden is uh, a couple of years fallow, and the yard has never really recovered. So I probably do need to come out here and do some weeding, lest I get an unkempt lawn notice. 
from the city, although I don't know if they're actually having people do that now or not. It's hard to tell. Oh, and here's the, uh, <laughs> here's the jungle passage. And I, I kind of like this. Uh, not, you know, these weeds here and everything, but just the, this area up here, which is, I need to make like a, a trellis here for that it can grow on, but there's this little secluded bit here. That's really kind of cool. I need to clean up some of it, but uh, now there are this, all this stuff I'm going to have to take care of, but this is, that's another project in and of itself. I know that these are not the best thing in the world, but I kind of like the look. At least for right now, I'm not going to mess with it. And i got to fix the light. And the, uh, the fence door is, I think this is, it's time to let this one go. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's big. That is a uh, small tree of some sort. So there's a lot of stuff I have to do down here that I haven't had time to do. And I don't know when I'm going to get time to do it. Because, you know, I don't have time for anything anymore. So I'm going to need some help with this stuff. And I don't know who to ask. I, I, just, I just, I don't know. So, all right, anyway, um, I'll try to get something a little more, a uh, little more meaty out. When I, when I get back and I try and take some footage when I'm down here, maybe. I don't know. There's stuff to fix, so we'll see how it goes. Until next time. See you guys. That's where she goes to go fast. You know, I, I really just dangled a toy in front of it for a second, and then she got it. And the next day, she was just running on it. Oh, hey, what are you doing there? <clears throat> so I'm pretty sweaty because it's a really hot day today. But I'm here in the kitchen and uh, it is time to do some fixing. Got this little buddy. 
not a whole lot of water coming out of this thing. Although well, there is more coming out of that. So what I think it is, is the cartridge inside here. So I'm going to be uh, replacing that. Well, one of the first things that I want to do is, of course, turn off the water. <clears throat> but as I noticed something interesting, uh, the water, <laughs> well, there's this weird vent thing that's over here that I believe is for the uh, dishwasher that was put in after the fact. So in order to shut off the water, I have to wrangle this around. <clears throat> and I'm gonna need two hands. <laughs> oh, that's really hard to get to. Now the one back here is more properly set, I think. Let's just find out. Uh, yeah, that one went pretty easy. This one, though. Tough to get an angle on. <sighs> okay. There we go. Who did the plumbing in here was an ass. And no, it wasn't me this time. For who the manufacturer of this one is, I don't think it matters all that much. But with this single handle, there is usually either on the front or the back some sort of a removable bit. And this one has one right here. So this little tiny plug sits back there. And back there is a tiny little Allen wrench, and I'm not sure what size it is. So we're going to find out. In this case, it's a 2.5 millimeter. Pull that off. And then, let me see what we've got here. Well, that was easy. Okay, that is the cartridge. So I am going to run to the store and get a replacement for this because, you know, I didn't know what it was beforehand. So I'll see if I can get one anyway. There's the old one, and there's the new one. I just got it at the hardware store. It's about 32 bucks, so this is not a horribly expensive fix. All right, I'm trying to do this <laughs> with one hand. Uh, okay, if you notice, there are the three holes here, and then there's these two little indentations. And on here, you have the two little pins that go in. So this will only go in properly. <clears throat> one way. Okay, and before I go too far, I'm going to turn the water back on. And we'll give it a little check to see if it worked. And that would be a no. So that means the problem is elsewhere. And that is not good. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to put this back together for now. Uh, this is going to be a much bigger fix, and I don't have time for it right now because it's going to involve plumbing. 
and that's not something that's going to go very quickly. So, well, I guess this one's a fail. <laughs>